with the On Your Side forecast. It is 518. Happy Wednesday, everyone. One more check of how we're starting off this morning as you get ready to head out the door. It is kind of a tale of uh, just different temperatures across the entire region. Boise sub freezing right now, 30 degrees and mostly clear skies. Ontario still at 41 degrees, which on the face of it sounds OK. But look at those winds right out of the northwest at 18 miles per hour. Remember, when it's breezy, we don't see those temperatures dropping off quite as fast. So yes, it's 41, but we also have near 20 mile per hour winds. So it feels more like it's in the low 30s, a little breezy and 31 with clear skies in Twin Falls to kick things off. So big weather picture over the next several days. Today and tomorrow we continue to see gorgeous, mostly clear, mild conditions. We're still under the influence of this high pressure and this uh, warmer flow coming in from the southwest and the west. We are watching a storm system for the weekend that will likely impact our Saturday evening into Sunday morning and will send some significant snow to our ski resorts. The first round of moisture I'm watching Watching, though this isn't as significant, but it's worth a mention for you is early tomorrow morning. So stay along with me here on my future cast. Here's our timestamp. I'm going to start this at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Still nice and clear. We'll have another beautiful sunrise tomorrow, and then we have this front that's on the move. This is not a real strong cold front necessarily. It will bring some precipitation by about eight to nine o'clock to the mountains of eastern Oregon and to the Idaho Panhandle. Most likely snow, of course, up in most of our mountain locations. And then this is about midnight Friday, uh, Thursday. Day, however you want to look at it into the early, early morning hours of Friday. A quick shot of some snow, maybe some rain across the valley. And then that's about all she wrote for the lower elevations. We may have a few lingering snow flurries early Friday morning, maybe along the I-84 corridor here from Boise to Mountain Home. And then that's about it. Your Valentine's Day evening is looking nice and clear, but then here comes that next significant system that will have an impact again by Saturday evening, Sunday morning, some rain here in the valley, and the snow will be falling in the mountains. We could see half a foot or more as some of our areas ski resorts for the long President's Day weekend. Perfect time to go hit the slopes and I think we'll see some sunshine by Monday afternoon as well. Plenty of sunshine for your Wednesday afternoon. Gorgeous conditions. Ontario, you may top 50 today. We'll be flirting with 50 across the rest of the valley. 48 or so for Boise today. Mostly sunny light winds in the Boise mountains. Temperature range there from 35 to about 43 degrees or so just depending on location. 42 on tap for council today. Mid 30s from McCall Donnelly and Cascade. No big changes temperature wise. We hit 49 in Boise yesterday. We'll be about there again today. So again, another carbon copy kind of day. 32 for Stanley, 36 and pleasant in Sun Valley with lots of sunshine and just light winds. A little breezy with those winds out of the west throughout the day in the Magic Valley, just like we're seeing this morning. But temperatures not all that bad for this point in February, 40 degrees for Twin Falls. Here's my extended forecast showing more gorgeous weather coming our way tomorrow. A cold start again with upper 20s in the Boise area. Friday, Valentine's Day. Again, a very slim chance of a few showers sneaking in early in the morning, but it may happen while we're all sleeping. You may not even know what happened. Valentine's evening. You should be good to go. Not okay. dodging raindrops. You won't need the umbrella, but Saturday evening, if maybe you're putting off your celebration until Saturday night, then you may want the hooded jacket.